Wellington, like the boot, but the place. So there was a place, there was a shop called Wellington Boots, which I thought was hilarious, based on the fact it's Wellington, they sell boots, so Wellington Boots, but as in wellies. Like I thought it was hilarious. Bethany mugged me the whole trip for that for that small inadequacy as a human you being. You know when someone finds something really funny, but the other person just like, I wouldn't really, you're right, babes. I mean, I wouldn't say it was absolute hilarity on my part. I just found it quite funny. Absolute no hilarity. Okay. That's what I said. Anyway, so this was a this is a town just outside of Taunton, uh, just for um, uh, geographical knowledge. Reference. Um. I used to hang here as a child. No, not as a child, as a teenager. Um, so I thought, ah, oh, trash shots, there might be some there. Never visited them as a teenager. Not she used to life. hang here. Well, I have hung. I've what hung. are you, a hoodlum? I've hung a couple of times here. Oh. Um, Austin found this jumper. It says, dreams come true. And just letting you know before he pulls it out, that the jumper says, dreams come true. And I thought for a second it might be like journey, you know. Never stop believing. No, no, no. it's not. Oh, look, by look the way, how happy you look at this point. That, that's an excellent puzzle. Just finished it. It's really great. I did buy it for our eight year old, not for myself. It is an excellent puzzle. It was for both series. Of them. It's a puzzle series. They're great. Yeah, this is a vintage uh, dreams come true uh, sweater on an old jersey tag. I thought it was kind of cool. It was five pounds, but it's really heavy and it's a good size. I'd like to know what the reference to the eagle. And that's why I thought maybe it was like journey or something. Yeah, I I I, I kind of tend to buy anything which is older like this, which I enjoy. You're but not like explaining that, that, the eagle. That, that foam print, no, because I haven't researched it yet. I'm saying I don't know. No, but what's the eagle relevance to dreams coming true? Is it like soar to your dreams, spreading your wings? Yeah, that's and, what I'm asking. And, and creating a journey. I'm and I don't, I really is. don't know. I, I I can tell you, I don't have all the answers. I just you know I just wondered if you knew what the relevance I don't. was. Once again, I do not. Okay, that's all you had to say. All you had to say is you didn't know, and that's right. Pay five pounds. I mean, what would you expect back for it? Uh, I'll thirty five or forty. Wonderful. These are some Solomon um, trousers. They're not quite the ski ones whose name I can't pronounce. They're like more of a walking trouser. Yeah, they, they well, they were kind of like, yeah, they were more like kind of outdoorsy kind of trouser. I guess you'd say Solomon shoes are great. Always buy them, always pick them up. Clothing. Some, I was going to say, unless it's like a coat or something like that. Honestly, we found a few bits and pieces. And like, if we, when you check comps, right across the board, not just eBay, anywhere else you can find them. They cost quite a lot new, but the actual clothing pre-owned doesn't go for as much as you would think. It sucks, right? Yes, yeah, sucks downright. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a cat puzzle, by the way. Anyway, so I got on the floor for this. I saw him peeking out. So there was two rolls of Laura Ashley. Uh, you are Mon loving that. Montague uh, wallpaper. It's got like um, peacock feathers on. It's in midnight blue for anyone who wants to know. Same batch number, double roll. Make a feature wall. One pound a piece. Yeah, I haven't seen wallpaper for one pound a piece sealed in a long time. I haven't seen a feature one in a long time. No, I haven't also seen the feature one in a long time, but you know, whatever. Well, we, we have done well previously with uh, Laura Ashley wallpaper. We've, we've bought lots and lots and lots, as in we've bought lots of it. Um, and yeah, it does well. I mean, we saw, I think, five, the last sale we had with it was like five rolls for like £107. £150. Um, yeah. They're going individually for £17.99. But I find if you bundle them, you get a little bit more money for them because people like, you know, want to buy it all at once. If you buy in two rolls for £17.99, you obviously, you know, you'll be pay a premium for convenience. The other thing you said, which is quite interesting, and which we didn't realise until you, you, a few years ago when we started buying it properly, um, was when you buy it, make sure the the lot um the the lot numbers are the same. Lot numbers, yeah. There was a lot number or seven. It's the it's the it's the it's the run number, the print number, if you will, and the they all, batch the, number. The batch number. That's what I meant. No. You know what I meant. That you're just being rude and facetious. Anyway, it doesn't matter what number you call it, my dear. The fact of the matter is, as long as they're the same, they will look the same. Sometimes, if you buy multiples which aren't the same, they come out looking different. I don't know why you've got to give me so much jip. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking I about. I do. I just said. I know exactly what I'm talking about. When was the last time you did wallpaper? When was the last time what? You uh, put some wallpaper on a wall. What the frick does that got to do with anything? Well, you would know more about batch numbers probably if you laid the paper. I, I don't I don't think many people use wallpaper, you know, in I more recent times. I found this tie. It is Duchamp or Duchamp if you want to say it like that. Um, it's like a woven silk and it was actually very unusual. And um, I don't normally pick up ties from them, but it was very contemporary, more very modern, sort of more a recent tie. And the style, the woven, like, I don't know how you would put it, like, it's woven, it's woven. It's, it's, it's you know it all, I'll let you carry on. And then I found this cannelloni. It's not called cannelloni. Cannelloni, oh, for the love of God. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> What's wrong? And you're the worst, because you say these things, right? So all I can think, think of now, 
<laughs> no, all I can think of now is cannelloni. So if I try and pronounce it without seeing it visually, it's a problem for me. So I'm not going to do it. We paid two pounds the other time. Cannelloni, maybe. And I put some comps in. Um, how, how much? How much was this anyway? This, this was, was five pounds, but it was new tags. Yes. Now I tell you about this. Cannelloni. So, cannelloni, right? So they make tailoring suits. Men's they make wear. really expensive menswear. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll have a look because it's five pounds. You know, that's over my tie budget, but it's new tags. Not like I have a tie budget. No, but I, you say that. I think there is a, a certain amount we like. Yeah, we yeah. say like what a tie is worth. Um. Anyway, and I went away and I did some googling, and do you know what they do? I put the comps in here. They do a range of ties at three hundred and fifty pounds. Some of the ties like a hundred. Some of them ties like uh, some of the ties like three four hundred pound. It just depends on like the particular. Um, it's called gold label. The gold label, yeah. I'm remaining optimistic because I just like to say. That is gold on the label. See, that's gold. So we'll see. I haven't actually um got it in from the car, um yet. <laughs> this was today. Like we're talk- <laughs> yeah. we're talking madness because we're recording this tonight. You'll see this tonight, um, yeah. and we are both very tired. And <laughs> as Bethany said on Instagram today, so um yeah. I mean, I don't know how much more I need to look at that label. <laughs> So I'm hoping for a good amount of money back. I'll get back to you on that one. But I'll put in some, like, um, relative information about that brand and their ties. ties it, are... I was just going to say, it was sparkly, glittery, per, uh, blue, which I think is snazzy. Yeah, ties go really well for us. And um, once again, though, I think, like, you've got to be aware of what you're buying and what the kind of retail is. If you've got real high retail, there's a good chance resale is great. This is an amazing white and pink stri- uh, striped uh, YSL shirt. My only issue was, and I honestly it hurts my soul because I, I, that's why I was looking up and down. You see the collar there; the, the collar's like yellow to where it's been. There you go, grossness. Um, and it was you this, touched it. I know it was washed, and the thing was clean. It was stained. Ew. It wasn't dirt. It was it, might, it was ingrained stained. Germ. It was clean. <laughs> you don't know it was clean. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> right now we've actually stopped laughing for the last just, half an hour just this is an and or jumper gray and pink striped size 14 uh four pounds he did have a stain on it austin didn't touch it this time i promise i promise he didn't t- he doesn't touch all t- <laughs> oh come on <laughs> disgusting things anyway this it was is- clean <laughs> This is a size 14, four pound. Um, it would do an easy 25 to 30 pounds, especially on vintage. Right, you need to stop thinking about the mark, Austin. I'm sorry. Moving swiftly on. On the other side of the shop, I was finding absolute bangers. So first up is this M&M. Whenever we find M&M, obviously at this point, it's just getting exciting. So this is a pleated front, extra small size, uh, extra small, um, four pounds. Um, I would expect 30 to 35 back on this. I just sold those wax trousers. I think we picked up in another tr- uh, video or maybe we didn't and maybe we just Not, picked them up and no, they we weren't did, we videoed. Did. We, I think it was a few videos ago. We got some wax me and M trousers and they were a size uh, 12 and I sold them for £75. Wow. And they wouldn't have been a huge amount of money in the first place, no? They were £5.95. There you go. Anyway, so that was four quid. I would expect £35 pack just on style. It's not the most fun thing. I also found this brand. So this is a brand called uh, Stripe and Stare. And it appears to me, after a quick Google, that it's sort of like an underwear brand, like an under, you know, like a base layer brand. They do underwear literally underwear but they also do loungewear and sort of nightwear etc this is a more jazzy print for them but the retail is about 50 to 70 pounds for long sleeve t-shirts and jumpers um so i was hoping because it was a jazzier print that it might be a bit more you know would appeal to people that like the brand you want something a bit more yeah. jazzy also four pounds um i do believe um and i think it's quite a good size yeah it's a medium um so i would expect i'm gonna aim for 30 back on that but i'm gonna look at comps and see how it's doing because it's something i've never picked up before you might pick it up and uh, let me know in z comment comments and there was um a lot of mint velvet in the shop so if you're a local to the area a lot of very cheap mint velvet three to four pounds um i decided on this occasion not to pick it up because I'm trying to be a bit more selective with our sourcing at the moment because we do source, as everyone knows, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to get those like quick fire out the door items. But if you're just new to reselling, then picking up mint velvet pieces is a great way to start, etc., etc., etc. And build up a kind of inventory as well, quite quite cheaply and quickly. Yeah. So this is Kim. I love Kim. I'm a personal big Kim fan. Um, this is a really heavyweight uh, uh sweatshirt Cotton. style. It was a size small, but it was only three pound ninety five. And then they picked up this jigsaw. 
don't pick up a lot of jigsaw. However, this really stood out. I thought it was, firstly, I thought it was very wearable. It's very trendy. It's very, like, I can imagine, like, a yummy mummy wearing that with great, jeans. Great over kind of oversized look as well now. Yeah. Um, it was cashmere blend as well. Although it was a size small, it was extremely oversized. So I was happy to pay £4 for that with the expectations of getting about 35 back on that. Um, and the kin, I would expect 25 to 30 again, maybe on Vinted. I particularly wear kin dresses a lot. I'm actually wearing a kin dress in this video. Um, I really like kin. The quality is a very good for high street in my personal opinion yeah i, yeah, I would say i would say it's, also, it's almost high end high street in my opinion the actual quality of the garments compared to something of a similar price yeah i don't i don't particularly like to wear high street um garments that's just my personal preference um but it i do buy a kin dress every couple of months because i really do think the quality they wash really well for anyone who wants to know um and i think that's why it resells well even though it's sort of a john lewis own brand um it does resell well. This is what well, Austin found something. Christmas miracle. This is a Vince skirt. It's just a, a jersey. Oh, I thought it was ribbed in the shop, but it's not, is it? No, it's not. Um, it's just a grey jersey skirt. Vince, for anyone who doesn't know, I'll put in some info up here. It's a very high end sort of um brand, but they do have an emphasis on um what I would call basics. So like um yeah, they are t-shirts. And... I'm just gonna say t-shirts, and the more plain, more plain Jane, the the, the better they sell. Yeah, it's it's very like um. Yeah, it's a high-end basics brand, isn't it? Um, looking out for Filofax has always been Filofax, Filoflap, like Filofax has been flying out for us recently. Yeah, they have. Um, so I'm always looking out for them, and they're always in really weird places. Um, pick them up for between fifty and two fifty p, and two pounds, and they sell. They're really high comps at the moment, though. I just put up a little red one. I put that up for thirty five. I sold a, we sold a vintage one we picked up for a pound for 30. Um, so really, really be on the lookout for Filofaxes. Um, this is a Kenzo shirt. This is Kenzo Hom. Uh, Hom? Striped shirt, eight pound. Very good price. You know what? We put it back. I know. I, it was sacrilege at the time. And I still think about it to this day. But it... Hmm. What? Kenzo Hom. Kenzo yeah, it, 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 it's just, it, just, it just wasn't something which was... I, I couldn't see it be uh, sellable. Kenzo Fast is very much a streetwear brand these days. It, it, the creative director is Nigo, who started Bathing Ape and... Um, what else is he? Human Made... Um, he's, 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 done he's done loads of stuff basically and he's very has high emphasis on uh, sort of Japanese streetwear and that kind of vibe so if you're looking out for Kenzo that's the kind of look I would look out for obviously the tiger stuff sells really well always uh, as has a good um, it has a good following it has a good resale in the car on the way up we were saying we really wanted to find some Ralph Lauren Aztec in the future um, we nearly hit it but it is chaps um, but it's got that sort of like Aztec, you know, the the Ralph knits, the Feral knits and things like that. And the Navajo there stuff. There were three pieces in the shop, but it was a vintage bundle. Um, I think people get confused with Chaps and Ralph Lauren because it was Chaps Ralph Lauren for a very long time. But you know more about it than I do. So Chaps was a Ralph Lauren brand, as it was a polo or polo sport. They eventually sold it and licensed it to other people. So basically, if you find Chaps with a non-RL or non-Ralph Lauren um, labelling, it's kind of non-Ralph if you will. It's, it's not affiliated with Ralph Lauren anymore. Um, so the newer stuff, obviously, like this is, it doesn't go for half as much. You can still make a little bit of money when it's chaps, but it just doesn't have that kind of, that, that value as it does when it was Ralph Lauren. They would be double the amount of money if they had the RL brand on the tag as well, which I know that sounds really stupid, but it's a fact. Yeah. And I think as well, it had the same, they made it alongside the collection, so it had the same vibe, didn't it? The madness, it's much yes. more its own thing now. Exactly that. And I also think the quality of those items, which aren't Ralph, um, the Ralph version is weird to me and it's just less quality. These were really cool. So these were like um, basically pouches, I guess you'd say. Um, like not, travel pouches. Yeah, travel pouches. Not big enough for document holders. Um, but they're Hugo Boss and the Hugo Boss full line. These were really nice leather, high end. Um, I'll put up a, a picture of a retail or a comp on here now. But these were, there was two of them. Both had their uh, satin dust bags and they were £4 each. Brand new with tags. I still don't know what they are. Like document like holders? Because well, that clips around there... Are they for travelling on hangers? They possibly could be, but I, I, I don't, I don't, exp I don't, exp I, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I just don't no, know No, because look, that, the end goes into that slot. Yeah. 
I think it's just a document holder. Isn't I think it's it? a document holder, which might, which might, you might end up in a um, like a briefcase or something. Either way, what I would say is these were retail uh, Hugo Hugo Boss pieces, which aren't cheap. Like no. an, an average kind of leather, a leather kind of crossbody bag from Hugo Boss is like what at the moment, what like five six hundred pound. Yeah, so I would pay a lot of money. I did a brief search um, when we came out the store. They were four pounds each, full leather. I would expect, I would expect three figures back on both newer tags, obviously with their dust bags. The quality is outstanding. It's beautiful. It's, it's well made. Um, it just yeah. It's just really really nice and the fact that there's two I, I honestly I don't understand it um, the thing is as well some, you sometimes you see things like this which have been kind of uh, in like luxury suitcases you get like add-ons the yeah. reason I know that wasn't something like that is because they were tagged separately those ones which come with kind of suitcases or holders yeah, yeah. they always kind of come with and it and don't have bags. separate tags yeah and these have dust bags so once again a little bit more research to see exactly what they are and I how much they were retail but I'll pop it up either way I wanted to keep this for Jijin even though it's just asking rummaging for his bag because if I'm standing over there and I am looking something up now and I wanted to just show you how quickly the, my ability to look something up is. One, um, two, three, So there was four, a mirror and it was like a mosaic mirror and um, it, it reminded me, I recently picked up an anthropology um, mosaic mug, one of their signature mugs with a bee on it and it looked exactly the same as that but it was a mirror so basically i just needed a five second check to check 100 percent. it was anthropology we're doing really good things with anthropology at the moment we just sold that tea caddy for 75 pound so this is five pounds and it is a hand mirror that says hello beautiful on it um but it's fully mosaic tiled ceramic i actually think it's really nice um it's not something obviously i would use in my everyday life um it's lovely though isn't it but it's, it's just a nice thing to have on like you, a, you have a console table you have or? quite a few mugs with that kind of that kind of mosaic pattern don't you that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i like i like the mugs even though i don't drink hot drinks i know people find that very surprising anyway um so pick that up for five pound retail is actually 40 pounds or dollars it was um and i know if things are discontinued you can get a little bit more uh, from anthropology i'm not sure if that is discontinued i'm going to put up comps for you i also think that um it, once again once they are discontinued it's, it's, it's something that's quite classic like a mirror like that for a, a, a whether it's a desk or just a kind of quick mirror to kind of glance in you know what i mean it, it's quite it's quite a, it's quite a classic piece i just imagine you glancing into a hand mirror i like the glance this, this i thought was amazing i had to show you it's kind of based on the uh the, the louis vuitton kind of print but it was uh, Paris Hilton oh PH that's hilarious yeah um big big love for Paris Hilton that's hot anyway um this is a P <laughs> are they Doc Martins not at all no. no um this is a PS no what is it an RSPCA RSPCA um we all know how I feel about RSPCAs and uh, you were proved to be right weren't you no you weren't no this one was all right because I, I felt like it it was very independently run it was like it had independent vibes do you know like the, 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 I'm not being harsh because I really I really enjoy the, these ones but you know the kind of grungy ones where there's stuff there's stuff everywhere like yeah. look any at any any point in this footage just look anywhere and you see stuff on stuff on stuff on stuff this was a cool um, Cubs jersey. It's a, uh, I think it's a, is it Michelin S? No, it's not Michelin Majestic. S. Majestic. Majestic it was, sorry, yeah. Um, this was vintage. It was nice, but it was £12. I just thought it was a bit much. You can probably do 30 or 40 quid, but it's just not for me. Um, this this shirt, Bethany picked this out. And honestly, one of my one of the favourite Ralph shirts I've ever found in, whilst uh, thrifting, um, on, hand on heart. Like that stripe, I just can't even. You just don't see. You just don't see him like that all the time. And everyone's saying, "Oh, you do see striped Ralph." No, like in the yellow with a white white stripe. Oh, it's a, a, amazing. A blue horse as well. It, it's really. It's a real nice piece. Um, that like so. This is what I say about certain pieces. You see Ralph shirts for sale all day, every day, in every charity shop. That shit will go for fifty pound, no problem. Easy, easy, easy. It's like twelve quid. It's I think it was. Personality, isn't it? Yeah, and it doesn't look like like if you know what I'm saying, you you'll totally get what I mean. If you don't, like I I can't help. <laughs> it's just how it is. Are you keeping it? Uh, maybe for a little while. Not I because I'll wear it nice because I love it. Summer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Open vibes. Open vibes. Yeah. What like with nothing else underneath. Uh, not that open, no. Ooh. No, no. Anyway, so that was twelve pounds. Yeah, well, you would expect fifty pound back if it isn't staying in the Z personal collection. Yeah. Um. In and this one was a bit. Uh, why I'm still looking at. I was a bit wish washy. I was like, you know what? I'm spending twelve quid. Um. Like I, I, I just uh, on sports stuff at the moment. I don't mind picking it up for a couple of quid here and there, but I'm not feeling it. It's no. not our main. Uh. It's not our main vibe. If anyone's been watching us for a while, sports wear isn't our. We like it, and for the nostalgic, nostalgic more than anything value, else, yeah. Um, Austin made me hold his stuff. Um, then we do pick up like the other day you picked up, for example, you picked up two American um, 
uh, NFL jerseys, vintage oh, ones. Oh, we haven't shown those because, yeah, that was on the way back. Yeah, you're right, actually. Um, maybe I'll do an Instagram thing on those. Yeah, they were a pound each. One was a Buccaneers and one was a Cowboys. Yeah, that was Cowboys. Um, but they're massive. They're ginormous. Both, both like double X. I think one's XL and one's X and one's large, but they both fit like at least double X. Yeah, they were um, on a pound rail, weren't they? Pound rail. Um, they actually were a, a, a charity shop, which we um, we go to, we go to all the time on the main road. And they were just hung on the, the pound rail. So I like kind of skidded to a halt and just ran in and got them. But yeah, cool story, bro. Moving on. Cool story, bro. I wanted to show how like amazingly cluttered this shop was. Does that make sense? Like it's yeah. just like... It's, if if you're into house clearances and stuff, that's a great shop. Um, last but not least is an Oxfam, and you know what? You know what? You, you know love what yourself an Oxfam. I love Oxfam. This 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 kind of freaked me out because I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna just sneak down here and go the back way, and then realised. Oh, oh, is that what you were doing? Oh, it's a wall. Yeah. I was oh, like, oh, okay, fair I enough. I thought you were going to, you know. No, I did peruse, I can't lie. But um, then I, I quickly kind of about turn and kind of look for clothes. I get really upset when um, I stumble across an Oxfam and it's just books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely get really sad. Actually, I think their clothing sections are amazing. We were saying today, the place we go a lot, which is obviously Wells, which you see a lot of videos from, um, they have, uh, like a lot of places have bookshops and record shops, but also have the separate clothes shop. Yeah. Wells doesn't, which is insane. They're beautiful. What are they? I found some kin trousers and they were like pleated front tailored oversized lager nookie uh pinstriped just a beautiful thing 6.99 austin didn't show you um, no love on them did i'm gonna try and get 35 for them austin didn't give me any love sometimes if it They're gets vibe, towards though. the end of the day it's really hard to get austin to like actually oh pay no attention hang on no, hang on hang on hang on i also found these I, you got my attention with these bad boys talk so to these me. are 6.99 peruvian collection but i can't they look kind of like um like painterly don't they like painterly they, uh, initially they're like from a far away it looks like paint's bad yeah yeah so i love these i don't want to leave this um i would expect 45 to bat for those um i wanted to leave this clip in because austin went right past a um uh, max mara trench coat and just discarded it uh, no i didn't you uh, did that was discarded it was discarded 100 percent. why was it discarded tell because me because you're a bad boy no tell me why it was discarded i don't know why it was discarded you didn't even ponder it why you didn't even touch it how much was it no i'm not you can't pull that one with me how sir. much was it how much was it 30 pounds you couldn't okay. even tell uh, me how much uh, it was you didn't top, look and on top of that no i did know it was 30 pounds of course why would I go past it otherwise? Anyway, I pulled on it out. On top of you, that, I, and what I happened? It out. And what happened? We didn't get it. Why? Because one, it was thirty pounds, and two, if that was down, I would have bought that all day long. It wasn't. It was polyester. You didn't know that. One hundred percent. You did not. Austin, I checked it to prove a point. Austin, just let it rest. You missed it, sir. Uh, Oh, so if I missed it, why didn't we buy it when you found it? Because I told you all the reasons <laughs> yeah. why we shouldn't, sir. Right. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so um, the Kin trousers, I would expect 35 minimum back for. The Peruvian collections, I'm going to go a bit higher. I'm going to go for 45, 50. Because um, I think they're really cool, even though they're not really like Peruvian, like, knit No, they're, they're actually far from it, but I think they're really cool. Yeah, I think they sort of like, they just got vibes. They got mad vibes, okay? Also, if you're into that brand, like, you know, some people are like just down for a brand. Yeah. Yeah. If you're into that brand, you fancy something a bit funky, they're the ones. On I that have note, to say, though, I have will bead you a four good night. pairs of Peruvian Connection trousers in the last, in the last few last, days. Like, Bye. Yeah. Days. Um, you know what would help? Listing them.